Welcome back to our Turnbull Custom Guns YouTube channel. Today we're going to test out our surface grinder that we did a restoration of in a previous three set video series. So we have our Mauser action and we're going to use our mandrel that's turned to 700 thousandths along with a uh, plate to hold it into our receiver and our surface grinders. But first thing we're gonna do on the stripper clip boss is we're gonna remove this extra material with a uh, belt sander or a grinder just to rough it down so we don't have as much grinding to do on our surface grinder. So we'll start with that. Okay, so We've just roughed this off. Now this whole project you can do with grinders and files and stones, but uh, I have my new surface grinder and I want to try it out. All right, so we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna turn our magnetic check off. Good to know that it works. And we're going to put our mandrel on. Again, if you have a lathe, this is a handy little thing to make. As you can see, we've used it a few times. And um, it's uh, just a piece of cold rolled steel turned down to uh, 700 thousandths. I believe it also fits uh, Remington receivers. Uh, may fit Springfield receivers too. I haven't tried. Make sure you grab the biggest adjustable wrench you can find to tighten this up. Just kidding. Now the first thing we're going to do is contour the front ring. Um, it's not 100% necessary, but it's a good thing to do if you haven't... Uh, Sometimes they're pretty rough or they have crests that have been ground off. So you want to make them a little better. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, I have a set of matched Michitoyo V-blocks. So we know the height are going to be the same front to back. And I'm just using this as a gauge to space it. Really doesn't have to be perfectly aligned with the grinding wheel. In fact, when we do the back one, you'll see that that we don't align it on purpose. So we've got our V-blocks locked on our mag chuck, which will allow us to rotate our action and grind it in a semicircle. Move this up out of the way for this. I'm gonna make sure we can move that. And you want to make note of where your depth is. You only want to take off about a half thousandths at a time. Um, I'm going to go grab a glove. This is a three-phase machine, and I have a rotophase, so I just turned the rotophase on. <coughs> Excuse me. And...
Okay, I changed my operation around for two reasons. One, I'm right-handed, so it makes a lot more sense to hold it here and move with my left hand. And two, now we got a V-block in front of this right receiver all the way around, where before this tang was what we were using to guide it. And if I ground past there, there's a potential it would slide back. So now we've got a stop here for the direction that the uh, grinding wheel is turning. All right, so that's our first pass. This receiver had been ground or uh, polished before. So it's kind of wonky, but should be able to remove that and get this back to a nice straight ring. And then we'll move to the back side. So our front ring, let me get that shot off, is ground. Just a teeny spot there, but when we polish this, that will come right out. I didn't want to take the whole thing down just for that location, but as you can see, it basically looks like a brand new receiver on the front side. And now we need to attack the, uh, the back. All right, so on the back of this, we have two angles and a round surface. So while we're set up on our round, I'm going to knock this down some. Not sure if I'll go all the way or not. This has been polished before and re -blued, so it's got some waviness to it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it all out, but um, we'll give it a try. So for now, we've just touched all the way across here. So we're gonna take and do these side angles now. We'll have to set that up a little bit differently. angle is ground and now um, normally I have an angle finder that would fit here I can't find it and you would 
take that angle, match it, roll it the other side so that both sides are equal. I'm gonna have to make a little template here so that I can match the other side. We'll get it set up on the other side. Commercially contoured military Mauser action. And the first project on our new surface grinder. <laughs>